Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it's Sunday guys and I'm coming on because I want to show you I'm making a drink for myself. Is it an alcoholic drink? No, unfortunately not. Um, I'm making like a fruit drink. I thought I had a pitcher, but I don't. So uh, what I'm going to do is just make like an individual cup here and there. I'm not going to make a pitcher until I get a pitcher. Tomorrow I have to start with the Dollar Tree and get a pitcher. Anyway, um, so what I did was um, put some ice in here. I put some lemon. I'm going to put some lemon juice, okay? Like this whole lemon here. Trying to get the pits out. All right. Lemon. I got orange. I'm going to put a couple of slices of orange in my water. And then I'm going to squeeze orange in here. And Bill, is there a lime, a lime juice in the lime juice on the bottom there? You see the bottom basket? In the bottom basket, there's a lime, a lime thing in there. Thanks. Good know what you're talking about, Linda. I don't have a lime, so I'm going to put a couple of squirts of lime juice in here. And I got an apple. I'm going to peel the apple. Oh, I gotta get strawberries. I have strawberries and I have blueberries in the refrigerator. Yeah, I, I, you know, I need to drink and I can't water I just can't, like I need something in my water you know what I mean I can't like I and I so I use those like flavored things and I know that they're not the greatest for me I know they have some aspartame in them and you know so I'm just gonna try something a little different apple and let me get my strawberries These aren't blueberries. I don't know where the blueberries are. Can never find anything. Well, I can't find the blueberries. So. Strawberries. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I'm going to put a little bit more ice in it. And then some spring water. And just muddle everything in. I imagine the longer it sits, the longer it will be, the better it will be. Mmm. Good. You know what fruit water reminds me of, guys? Is that when my dad, um, the end of his life, he had Alzheimer's, dementia, and he had to go into hospice. And um, he was in this beautiful hospice place. And I'll never forget, in the waiting room, it was beautiful. And uh, it was the most, it was the most beautiful, devastating place at the wall at the same time. But it was a beautiful experience, even though it was in his death, if that's, if you could understand that. Um, outside into the, in the lobby, they had a, bi a beautiful um, fruit thing, fruit, a thing, a big, you know, thing with water in it, with all fruit in it. It was a fruit drink, water with fruit in it. It was so good. And I just remember that. That was delicious. Yeah, if I could fit cucumber in here, I'd probably put some cucumber in here, but... I can't fix you from here. Just put one more ice. So I'm going to let it sit a little while. Because this, um, this container holds, holds the, um, the, ooh! Overflowing. This container holds the ice. Clean it up a little bit. Mm. That's really good, guys. Really, really good. I like that. Oh, you could taste the lemon. You could taste the orange. <clears throat> That's really good. And like I said, the longer I let it sit, I bet you a little bit, the better it's gonna be. Let me put something, I want to do something. Yeah, I have blueberries in there, but who, who, who knows where they are? They're buried in the refrigerator somewhere, in the black hole. Thumbnail. All right, guys. That's it, guys. I just wanted to show you how I made my fruit drink. Come on quickly and um, say hi. And I'm going to go drink my drink now. So I hope you're having a great Sunday. I'll see you on the What's for Dinner.
Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. And thanks for coming into my kitchen and creating with me, guys. Bye. Subscribe.